Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hadrian here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because they're all doing fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's 2019. I cannot believe it. It's crazy. My Christmas tree is still here because I'm going to put it away tomorrow. But I decided why not film the last couple thrift hauls sitting in front of it because I'm going to miss it. <laughs> I just love Christmas so much. But yeah, all that stuff is going away tomorrow. But this isn't about the tree. This is a haul video. So if you guys were interested in seeing the thrifting videos for this haul, when I had the link, this video is going to be a little bit different from my regular haul videos because it's going to be a cumulative haul from my past like three or four um, vlogs where I went thrifting and I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I ended up getting because I don't think I showed you guys in any of the videos, right? So I'll show you guys now. Uh, but I'm super excited because I got some really awesome stuff. So, if you guys love thrifting, and you love thrift hauls, and you love vlogs, don't forget to subscribe because this is like your one-stop destination for all that stuff. Um, I do post videos every single day, and if you guys like, want to follow me, add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, it's just, just like it's spelled here, and check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale for all my thrifting adventures, and a lot of this stuff is going to be up for sale in that shop if any of you guys are interested in them. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this. Um, first thing I have here, I don't even remember if I showed this to you guys, but I for sure talked about it in my... Um, in a, on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of stuff on there as well, especially in my Insta stories. And I post this, and it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I actually posted it, and I didn't think it was real. And then one of the thrift squad, one of you guys was like, wait a minute, that is actually real. Um, and I was like, I know, like it felt really nice. Everything looked right, except like, if you, do you notice how the print is a little crooked? And then they were like, oh, that actually does happen with a smaller print. So it like, it totally can still be real and all that stuff. So I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so I was actually like, it was actually hours later. And yeah, I, I was like, it, well, when I go back next time, if it's still there, it's still there. If it's not, it's not. I actually didn't even film when I went back just to go look for it. I, spe I, I specifically went back like an hour before it was going to close just to see if this was still there. And it was. And I was like, I'm going to get it. It was only $25. It's so cute. I don't know if I can part with it. Because I feel like this was such a great story with this wallet. And I don't know. I feel like I would actually use this wallet. And I think it's really cute. Um, but yeah. So $25. Louis Vuitton wallet. So stinking cute. Uh, so happy. Okay. So exciting. Okay. So there's that. Um, now these other things. Um, the next things I'm going to show you. I got during a trip to when we went to a bunch of different Crossroads stores. So the first one I have here is this really darling Michael Kors satchel. I love it. It's in like a nude soft fiano with rose gold hardware with a cool stitching for the quilting, like a double qu double stitch quilt. And it's gorgeous. I love it. It has a long strap as well. It has tons of compartments. And it's just such a cute bag. I really like it. So this was really fun. And I believe this one was $47. What's that? Oh, this, I love this Kate Spade. It's so darling. The grass the green color of this is stunning. It has gold hardware. Again, top handle, long strap. And it's just really, 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 I just really, I don't even I can't even see how much I like this green color. Like other than like a Kelly green, this is like my like my next favorite. Oh, I do like forest green. I do love a lot of shades of green, but like this this color green just makes me so happy. It's so pretty. This bag is so functional. It has tons of compartments, and I don't know. It's just a really nice bag. Plus, this I feel like this shade of green is so unique. Like I I've never seen any other handbag in this color before. So I just really, really like it. I think this is just such a fun pop of color to add to any outfit. And you guys know I love a good pop of color when it comes to handbags. It's like my favorite thing. Um, the next thing that I have here, and that one was, I think it was like $30, something like that. Um, the next thing I have here is a Michael Kors Hamilton in the medium size uh, black pebbled leather, gold hardware. This one is just like a timeless classic from Michael Kors. It's uh, it's my favorite style that he makes, and I don't know, the Hamilton is just so gorgeous. 
I just love it. I love the shape. I love everything about it. The gold hardware with the black leather is just like a nice classic like combination. You really can't go wrong with it. And this is such a great size as well. And I love that this like the leather like this um, the soft pebbled leather for this bag like it kind of like sags a little bit which is really nice but still like kind of holds its shape which I also really like. So I, I like that combination of like hard and soft structured and like you know what I mean? So really really nice and then this one um, I believe it's also 47 like around $48. Beautiful 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 Michael Kors Hamilton. Stunning. Okay. Ooh okay. Now this one is a bag that I am so obsessed with. I don't know if I can sell it because I love it so, 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 so much. And it is this Sophie Home backpack. Now Sophie Home makes such gorgeous bags. And I had, um, I had one in the shop by her once. It was like a satchel. And this like, this one, um, it's a departure from what the, like, the leather she normally uses. Because she normally uses really smooth, structured leathers. And this one is, um, a little less smooth. It's a little bit more pebbled than normal. And it's, like, definitely a thick leather, but it's soft. So, it's gorgeous, though. I love the style of the backpack. I love the hardware. So, the top flap opens like that. And the inside is, oh, And it's just, like the underside of the suede which is really nice and I love the sides like the little wings they do buckle in which I think is a nice touch as well and they just go in and it totally changes the shape of the bag which I think is really really fun as well so you kind of get like two for one kind of deal with this bag oh my sister is leaving to go to work <laughs> so she's opening the garage that's what that sound is right now but isn't it such a cute bag right like it's so cute so that's it with like the sides tucked in it's just really fun and there's the backpack straps in the back so nice i haven't seen like a bag in this silhouette like a backpack before so it's really really cute which i really like and this one was 95 dollars. a little expensive but her bags are very pricey so 95 i think was a steal it just needs a little bit of a cleaning a little bit of a conditioning and it'll be good to go but again i think i might keep this to my personal collection because i just love it so so much and i have been wanting to add a couple more backpacks and this is like a nice addition because it's nothing like i have so like it kind of looks kelly-esque right like a little bit or kind of like those like more, like vintage backpacks from back in the day the school bag but okay so there's that so then these next two pieces um which are the last two i'm going to be sharing with you guys and i got these last two pieces from the veterans thrift um when did i get it Actually, the Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, because I was going to go to the grocery store, and the grocery store that I was going to go to was the 99 Ranch Market, which is actually really close to the Veterans Thrift, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pop in really quick and see what they have. So, luckily, I went, because I found some awesome stuff. Um, the first thing I have is this beautiful vintage Salvatore Ferragamo shoulder hobo bag. It's so cute. It has two pockets, one on either side. And the leather is so, 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 so soft. Silver hardware. I love the way the handle is like kind of like rouged right there. Like, isn't that cute? And the interior is just like nice and it's like nice and easy. It has like a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. And this one was only $20, which I think was a steal for this bag. And it's just gorgeous. It's like timeless. It's kind of classic. And it's just nice. It's just a beautiful bag. When you like, you can feel it. Like when you, like when you feel and hold like a really nice quality bag, you can just like feel the weight of it. The leather is stunning and it's just so gorgeous. So love a good Ferragamo bag. Okay, the last but not least. And when I found this, I thought it was another bag. I kind of thought it was a Rebecca Minkoff because Rebecca Minkoff makes bags very similar to this style. But there's actually a vintage style from this designer, which I thought was pretty darn cool. Let me just zip it up a little bit right there. And it is this. It's a beautiful black Chloe handbag. Right? A Chloe bag. Oh my so amazing it's so gorgeous it's like it's so substantial it's so weighty 
Um, this is definitely, I don't know if it came before, after, or doing the Paddington era of Chloe, but it's, this is a stunner. The leather is beautiful, and the hardware is gorgeous. It's like silver, and it also has like the black hardware, which is nice, and has the little luggage tag here on the zipper pull that says Chloe on it. Um, there is a front pocket right here, and it has, okay, so it has like this little clasp. Which is really cute, like it's tiny, right? And then there's a pocket right there. And then also there's like another pocket right here. Which is like honestly a little random. But it's like cool. And you can actually like, it actually is a pocket pocket. And there's one on either side. I don't know if the pocket goes all the way through. But I thought that was like a really cool touch. And there's also a pocket on the back. Now, there is, there are two, like, grommets missing from the bag, but it doesn't ruin the functionality or anything of the bag because the handles are actually sewn on and the the grommets are kind of just, like, for aesthetic purposes. And it's on the back of the bag, so it's not very noticeable at all. And so it's, like, you know? So, other than that, the bag is in fantastic condition. It opens up beautifully. Here's my receipt right there. And it just has a zipper pocket right here. It has it says Chloe right there, made in Italy, and then it has the little um, code thing inside. And this one was forty dollars, but well worth the price. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath talking about these bags, but it was just so exciting. I cannot believe I found this Chloe bag. It's so cute, and I just love it. It's I've like this style is so cool. I've never seen. Um, this particular style, though I have seen other bags in this, like, from this collection, because, like, the hardware and everything, like, you can kind of tell, but, like, this silhouette is new to me, and I love it, love it, love it so, so much, and that <sighs> rounds out today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today and checking out all my finds. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. That always helps immensely. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments. Let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently because I love to hear about your finds as well. And let me know if you guys like enjoy going to like consignment shops, kind of like, uh, um, vet like not veterans there, that's like a really good store. Um, Crossroads. Crossroads stores are so cool. There's like Crossroads, um, Buffalo Exchange, stuff like that. These kind of stores are so cool. I love consignment stores. You can never, like you never know what you're going to find just like at the Goodwill and regular thrift stores and all that stuff. Um, so let me know down below in the comments if you guys enjoy going to those stores as well because I love kind of like diversifying the stores that I go to because it just increases your range of opportunity to find amazing things, right? So uh, it's just like you're never going to win the lottery if you don't play. So, so I feel like, like, and the more you play, the higher are your odds of winning. So I, I love that I'm using a... <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a lottery analogy would have never even bought like a lotto ticket in my life like <laughs> but you know it's, it's just definitely the same thing so if you do like all like you know the mathematics and all that stuff the law of probability whatnot so forth etc um yeah anyway i'm gonna stop the video here before i start getting into any more math but i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all later bye they still have this gucci here so this is what happened to the science like they're like totally cut up on the corner. See that? And then the this fabric is like coming out right there, like it's torn. I like the contrasting stitching on this bag. Too bad it's like I think it's pleather actually. Kind of cool.